So we just finished the installation of Canvas and now I just wanted to have basically a little click around and I figured you know whilst I'm clicking around I may as well show you guys the user interface and you know see what's available. So we're going to go ahead and this is the home page once you've logged in we're going to go ahead and uh, configure the communication preferences. And we're doing this in a really small window so if things start to look a bit crazy then my apologies. Okay, so notification preferences. This appears to be for basically announcement, counts, changes, courses. We can go ahead and change whether we want them right away, never. You know, it's nice, easy, simple to use UI. Um, I've also got an option over to the. Let me just bring this right in down into size. Choink. Got this option over here. Different ways to contact. Uh, we can add sell. So there's a little bit of polishing needed doing on these. Uh, on these frames, you can see here that it doesn't quite fit in the actual frame. Um, let's go back over. It's got a very ruby, um, kind of ruby look to it. Um, so this is like my profile as I am, um, as an individual right now. It's got Skype integration, some delicious stuff, and all these kind of bits that I can bring in. Um, So I can go ahead and create an e-portfolio. So let's just quickly do. Let's go ahead and do that. Just whilst it's doing that, I'm just going to see why it's so slow. Because Ruby's using 100% CPU, which is right. I mean, this box is, you know, a couple of gig of RAM. Not, it's not a, it's not the weakest box, and it's not doing anything else. So it's a bit strange, but so um, let's go through the wizard for the e-portfolio. Now, an e-portfolio is one small part of the LMS. So let's. I just want to quickly just touch on it, just quickly maybe get something up on there. Okay, so e-portfolios, blah blah blah, portfolio sections, adding submissions. You may have noticed buttons is a list of recent submissions add submissions to new pages in your portfolio this way so let's just hit let's do it view portfolio nothing here yet so we'd have to go ahead and create uh, a new section side section blah okay then let's go to blah we can edit the page here and go blah blah so very CMS -y, um don't look like there's any ability to collaborate in real time or anything on there, but it's very kind of got that standard WYSIWYG feel. Right, so you've got courses, assignments, grades, calendar. These are the objects available from the get go. Um, let's just bring this down a little bit. So I'm just jumping into assignments now. Um, I've got no assignments yet. I assume that I need to kind of assign those to myself, um, or they'll probably get assigned to me. Not seen an obvious way yet for um, for assigning assignments. So same with grades. So this looks like an unfinished part of the software. Um, And then we've just got a calendar object, which is standard. So, I mean, it looks like it really does look like the uh, 
the LMS is really in its infancy stages, I like just got the very bare bones basics down so far. Um, there doesn't appear to be much in the way of features to show you or anything that kind of breaks the mold. Um, yeah, let's have a quick level look at the files option uh, section. So I mean this is, I think you probably struggle. You may if this was something where you just wanted to, you know, hand assignments and then assess them and then do grades on those assignments uh, and then you know say well this assignment's due on XYZ um, I guess this could be quite useful I'm not sure of its uh, of its weight but just for what it does um, it seems quite heavy as far as the amount of resources that it's using for kind of simplicity of what it's doing if that makes sense like there's no there's no features in there that warrant it to use so many resources uh, in my opinion so I've just gone ahead and uploaded a file and it says it's uploading one files there we go so I mean it's got super slick um, UI so this is you know just like a basic HTTP get so this should be like boom instant done all right, so uh, you can see we've got a bit of, you know, still some, still some development issues where, when you try to access a file, it's got the wrong host name in. Um, again, I just installed with development mode, so you know these type of issues just need ironing out. But it, you know, it's early days, so that's kind of your first look at Canvas, really, uh, the features, and I guess you can call this video "Seeing Past the Flamethrower." <laughs> so there you go, enjoy.